Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about um, Ada Cardano. Yeah, it is coming down. Um, it did break out of this larger ascending wedge yesterday, which is a first step towards our downside targets there between 32.6 and 27.6 cents. Yeah, I had a few questions yesterday. Uh, so one comment asking, you know, does it mean Ada will for a very long time not go higher again? Um, no, <laughs> this is again, 100% um, probabilities, 0% certainty. So, which doesn't mean it um, is 100% certain uh, that it will go down. No, it means, you know, we've got a range of probabilities here and the fact that it broke out of the wedge to the downside, the fact that it has fulfilled upside expectations in terms of the wave count, yeah. I mean, we have five waves up complete as per the Elliott wave rules of market structure. We have five waves complete. It doesn't need to push any higher. In fact, a break above 42 cents would have been super, super bullish. But then on the other hand, um, you know, we, we were waiting for a dip and we, you know, I, I would still like it to carry on that we finally get into this wave two support region between 27.6 and 32.6 cents. And by the way, everybody should be happy for it to get into that region and for many of these coins to get back into these regions because it would mean, first of all, some progress in the chart it would give some confidence that the bear market might be over. Even here, finding support and rallying would still be too early to say the bear market lowers in because what we need to see is something like this. You know, we would need to see those five up. We need to see those three down, three waves down into the support area. Another five up, three down, five up. Only then we have a larger wave one and we can rule out an A, B, C structure, which would mean we don't get this, but which would mean we sell off impulsively and make a new low. That's technically still possible, believe it or not. If we get three waves up only, it will come down. But it means you can still trade the C wave. You can scale in here when we get there for trading the C wave if you choose to do so. I definitely will. Not ADA because I have overexposure on ADA due to historical trading decisions um, and because I just got very early into this coin. Um, but you can trade the C wave, but that's for many coins that will happen, right? Um, or you can do here, if it's a one, two, then you can trade the, the wave three, which is the same thing. The only difference is what happens here, because if you have a one, two, three, four, five pattern, you'll get one more leg up afterwards, which makes sense from a strategic point of view, it might make sense to start to take some profits towards the end of the C wave or the wave three, whatever it is, um, because you don't know if you get a wave four and a five. Good, good, good. So that's that we've talked about that. Um, but everybody should be happy because then it's the next you know high probability trade setup. Now, what I cannot rule out is that this is um, not the correct count, of course. You know, um, therefore we talked in the previous video about really to get the next level of confirmation that we are coming down in the wave two is we need to break below the 37.1, 37.2 cent level. Now we haven't done that and we're quite far away from that. We're currently at 38.9 cents. It's currently trying to retest the wedge from below, flipping possibly previous support for resistance. So we had a lot of support along the way. One, two touch points, three, four, five touch points. Um, now it broke for the first time and it tries to retest it from below. Now, if that retest is successful, it can certainly send it further down in the third wave. We may have to adjust the count if we break higher here. Um, that would certainly again have some, let's call it short-term bullish implications. We can never rule out a fake out. But at the moment I'd go with this count because it's valid at the moment. However, it is getting um, unreliable now with this move up because it's certainly, you know, you could say it has, um, you could say it has a retracement where it ideally shouldn't have one. Um, now nah, that's not the case really, but it's getting very choppy. Yeah, it's, it's getting very choppy. If I go to the one hour chart, I mean, we it's still making lower lows and lower highs at this stage. But yesterday we talked about the count here and said, okay, maybe we had here a leading diagonal in wave one, retracement in the wave two. And we're now coming down in the third wave. In the third wave, however, I would count this as a small one, two setup here. Yeah, again, what's this now, right? It would need to be another one, two setup. So it's getting too choppy, right? And then 
it should ideally follow through next in a sell-off from here. If it doesn't follow through here with a direct sell-off and breaks significantly below the 37.96 cent level and instead remains choppy, we may have to assume that this wave two was never finished and that we had here something like this, um, a flat pattern in the wave two, A wave, B wave, C wave. Yeah, um, if it follows through impulsively to the upside now, I will have to reset the wave two higher, which wouldn't change the overall count. It would just mean that the wave two hasn't finished yet. Be aware of that possibility, but that depends on, in my opinion, does this trend line now hold or does this trend line now break? Um, at the moment it seems to hold, but I think the market is waiting for the opening of the US stock market. Yeah, and that's sort of where we are currently here. Um, again, important support is 37.1, 37.2 cents, and then we should ca come into the region around 30, um, let's just look at that, 35, 36 cents, no, 35 cents for that wave three. But if we talk about um, possibly the count here that we had another small one to set up here as well, and we would follow through, then the target for this white third wave would be 36.7 cents. So we need, we need to see that follow through. If not, again, that yellow wave two might still be unfolding. So yeah, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. If you like to support more crypto online and would like to earn passive ADA with your ADA, feel free to delegate to our MCO stake pool um, to support the channel, but also to earn some passive ADA rewards. You can find the links for that in the video description and also a video tutorial about you, how you can delegate actually to the pool. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.